Hi, and welcome to Santa's workshop. So, last year we made something like this you see here, uh, but more of that. And uh, now we will, t this year we will do something different because uh, as a kid, I I often uh, in uh, big stores and and that kind of thing in the city, they have uh, big mechanical uh, uh, windows decorations, and and as a kid, I thought they were fantastic, and uh, so we will try to make uh, mechanical uh, decoration this year, and and. By the way, I will send every uh, uh, every night, Monday to Friday, uh, every night until Christmas with this one. And uh, the kids' uh, workshop, I have uh, moved uh, to, uh, not moved, I have uh, yeah, moved, I have uh, 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 we, uh, Tuesday we will make that uh, from 6.30 p.m. to uh, 7.30 p.m. So that's how we will do it. So every night, Monday to Friday, we will do this. And uh, first I will take a mouse and show you what I'm up to. I will make something like this, a uh, windmill, old windmill. And uh, this is the model. It's a Danish one. So I'll make this, and we will try to get it to turn the wings around and to get that done. We will make it very uh, uh, mechanical and simple. Very uh, 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 what, what uh, word for it? Uh, analog. I will put uh, a motor in it like this. I have bought a bunch of these. So, uh, and you will make it very simple with a rubber band and uh, so on. No, not uh, a lot of electronics, just a power supply and then a motor. and. Then we will make some other stuff that can move, uh, windmill, windmill, and and uh, a water mill, and and like. But you can see, this is kind of what we made last year. This little one. I hope you can see it here. But uh, we will do it a little bigger this time, so we can have room for this. This is just a paper. Um, what should we say? Model. So. I could get the proportions right because when I do stuff like this, I kind of wing it. Uh, you can see, I just put it. I will make it in wood so we can. I will bury uh, the engine in uh, the motor uh, in here, and then we will uh, make a hole in this one. So you put it on here and and this one here. But it's always, when you do stuff like this, it's always a good idea to to try to see if you get your... You can see I made a one top here. That's wrong because it's too flat when you turn these down. So I made it. And when you do it in, in uh, wood, and I will show you what wood I will use. I will use this four millimeter veneer, and then you cannot bend this, so you cannot get this form. It's just because I put some tape in it. But I will make 16 of these all the way around and glue them together, and then I will make 16 of these up here, so it will get kind of uh, straight and not the fine shape this has. And then the sides here, there, there are eight uh, eight uh, 
eight pieces like this, and the same in, in the bottom here. And, but now I'm sure when I start to cut, uh, cut the wood, I'm sure I do it right because I can see this kind of fit together. And if you see this one again, then maybe I should take the mouse over here. Uh, there, you can see that we have uh, had to put the wing in front and then we have the wing, wing in the back on the roof. Uh, we have to make one here. That's the part that make the, the top of the mill turn up against the wind when it rotates. And, and the front big wings and then we have to uh, make rails and uh, windows and stuff. So it looks like a real one. But this is a, a summer picture. So we will make it winter and Christmas-like. We'll put some light in it and so on. So that's what the goal are with this. But the first part of this is we need to because now I can use this as a, uh, uh, what is the name of that? Uh, I don't know. I know what the name is. Uh, do this. Something, uh, <laughs> sometimes I cannot get the word, remember. It's right on the tongue, but I cannot see. Then you will cut this out and use that to make the wood part after. Because the, the reason also is that Christmas is all about tradition and uh, the fun thing has always been when you, when the December starts, you go to the attic and find all the fine stuff you have collected through the years down and kind of decorate the you home, you with stuff like this. And sometimes it goes from from parents to children and so on. And that's kind of a fun part of it too. I think it's a shame we don't have any, at least not around, not around here, uh, any uh, mechanical decoration in the stores anymore, because that's too expensive. I think. I think, uh, by the way, I think in Germany have, uh, in, at least in the southern, southern Germany, they have a lot of it still, but not around here anymore. 
And that's a shame, I think. But time changed, and so do traditions. On the net, I have seen a lot of fantastic uh, uh, mechanical stuff, but uh, all of it, you know, I have not seen everything on the net, but those I have seen, they kind of built uh, uh, the landscape in foam, and then they buy all the houses and all the stuff. I think it's more fun. Double pleasure if you do it yourself. See, now we can get get uh, get a connection from this uh, up to the middle because the hole in this. Right, oops. It's round. And then this. And then we have to make some wings. It's kind of flimsy, but uh, it is in the right size, so that's what matters. Don't. And then there is a, a, a hole. Uh, Floor on this one, we will remove this because we wanted a hole in this too, so we can get uh, We need a hole up in this part too because we need to get a, a, a rubber band or something up so we can dry the uh, move the the wings. So <coughs> and then we have to make it so we also can take it apart <coughs> the upper part we need to to uh, be able to get off because I'll, I'll uh, or else we cannot get up and get the band around the whatever we get it to run around with so we will make a I think it could be really fun to you can see the the stuff I have over there the only things you can make with that is that the light are blinking 
And you could use a Raspberry Pi and do some stuff with that too, but I think the mechanical part given give it a another dimension. And this is something everybody can do. Just, and you don't need a lot of fancy, fancy tools to do it. And then you can enjoy it Christmas after Christmas because often you store the boxes in the garage or on the attic and uh, and you know these cardboard stuff they bend they cannot uh, survive dampness and so on so they don't survive that long but this one will so we will make a whole christmas landscape with this okay, I think the knife is starting to be done. So Give it to me. <clears throat> there it was. See, now you can get into this part too. But you need this to build this on and to stand on this one. So it's necessary. And then I think I will put some uh some pieces on here so that you kind of if you sit it down and then you can take it up again yeah. like a lid or something so it stands in the right place without moving like this at least that that's idea right now but as i said i have the tendency to wing it more or less. So now we need to figure out. Put this on here if we can. Boom. Yes. Not that good, but because the wings are gonna be in the middle of this and then down here somewhere. So 16. I think from the middle and out, you take a piece of cardboard and move this over if it don't fall apart. And then we need to have a train also, right? Kind of. But uh, of course, if you have an electric train laying or laying around, then you maybe would will use that. But I will make a more will make a more primitive. Uh, you do that, yes. Sixteen from the middle, yes. I'll make a more primitive one. Uh, that run around anyway, but like they did in the olden days. Is there 16 up there? Nope. Okay. How wide is this? Okay. 
you will find the middle. If I know how wide it is. 32? Okay. Just right. Like this. And now we don't need this one. Oops. Go away. It was not long enough to go all the way. Ooh. And then we see how far we are here to sixteen. There. Then we'll do the same again. Oh, and then we need to know how far 16 are here, like this. That is some big wings. Sixteen this way and sixteen this way. I cannot see anything. No. It's kind of a bad lining to this purpose. Or for this purpose, and we cut it here. Yes. And then we will look at this one more time and see how I will take a stick here. Two sizes, this and this. I think I'll use this. Nine. It is nine times nine millimeters. 
Yes. Yes. It's too thin. You're the one. So we have decided how it should be. Nine times nine. Uh, that is four and a half. Through the middle, I think. Yes. Yeah. Yes, this one was wrong, I think. Yes. <clears throat> I will get something. Where is it? I down here. Not here, not there, not anywhere. Okay. Then I have to do without it. There. One millimeter round. But that can mean a lot in the end. in this okay. just so we can see how it looks because it's bad when we have started to cut tree and then use a lot of time on that and then it don't it's a wrong measurement or something it looks wrong and Better make the mistakes now than later. Four and a half, nine. I have so many rulers that And how big is, oh, you have seen on that all the time. Uh, I'll go over here so I can see. The monitor is too far away so I can see it. One, two, three, four, four times. Maybe go back to this one. So we say nine, three, yes, that's 
Hello. Is here, then, then, uh, yes. that here too. Can you see anything if I change to this one? You can see, make three here. It's on these sides the kind of what shall we call it sail well, this farther away no maybe if we do like this sorry now I'm moving And we kind of have a pattern to go after. Right. And then the last one on this side. And we will cut it. Now, yeah, I was afraid that the mic was not on this one, but it is. Sometimes I don't remember to do it. So, and we'll take another look on the, so we do it right. Yes. Half. Yes. And a little bit. Yes. 
to happen a little bit. Here we are doing the half. Where is my, there is it. Half one point five. Where is that? Where is it? And it is worth doing this in paper first, or cardboard first. Because now you are sure that what you end up with looks right. That was that part, and then there was the, a bit part, a half and a bit, and that's this five millimeter. I take my four up while I'm at it. And this last one go then I keep crawling away from the picture. right above. Come on. And the last one. And we can cut it out.
時間かな Next time I'll find some Christmas music we can play in the background. But we have to be very careful with that because they can take it all down if they don't like it. Oops. Copyright infringement. My God. Then we are in trouble. Oh. I did one here wrong. I didn't cut all the way up. Come over here, young man. Oh, this was right. And then make a little cut here. of the camera, but I have to see. Oh, I should have done this while I was around.
but I promise I will work on it Sunday. Tomorrow I have to go to a birthday. And Sunday I will spend all the day trying to. So I have gotten a little bit further when we come to Monday. Then I hope to have cut out a lot of it so we can start gluing it together. on here, something. Paint. Because maybe they are too white, I don't know. And then when you bend cardboard like this, then we have something here. That's the bone. And that's kind of, it don't cut, but it kind of make a groove in it. So it's easier to bend. Without breaking it all. You can also use a, a ball a pen without any ink in it. An old one. Next time one gets dry for you, save it and then you can use it every time you fold cardboard like this. Because it don't cut, but because then it's easier to bend without destroying it. Oh, these, you can buy these. But now you can see how is it. And then you can just to safety. See how easy that went. It's not exactly how they're gonna be, but that's just to see if the size are right. Oh, it looks ridiculously. See, now we will go to this camera and hold it up to see if, yes, it has to, yes, go free of, there will be a rail here, so, and this will sit up here. And I know they are kind of close always. Yes. <clears throat> we have them around so we can see 
still see one of some of the old mills around. So that was that. And uh, that then. The back the the little uh, uh, here it is the little kind of a wind rose uh, we are calling them the one here the roots behind we have to but you can see they are kind of built out. Unlike a crane or something like that. But we will use sticks like this to to make something up here. But we are not going to put yes, go down. We are not going to, the motor is down here, and then I'll take this away. And then we'll put a rubber band, rubber band or something else around up here through this. And the The axle orders, you will find one of those. Maybe we need a thicker one. And uh, this, maybe this, yes. But it will not go all the way through. So we need something to to support it in the back. It was tempting just to put it through, but there are no through. So there. Uh, what do we do? I will figure that out. But I think we will take a bigger stick and this one make a kind of a plateau because if the rubber band or whatever we need to have it to to drag the wings around then then uh, There will be some tension on that, so if we don't do anything, then it will. But that we will figure out, and then we have another technical problem that is this uh, little motor here. It runs, uh, I think it's 50. Five thousand RPM, so the the mill will be flying <laughs> with twelve uh, twelve volt, uh, volt you know, twelve uh, volt. What do you call it? Yeah, five volt. Uh, there will be it. It will um, it will run. Uh, 5,000 RPM, so we have to put that zip, put that down, but uh, we can do that with a resistor in the end of it, so I guess. And then I, I think we will build, uh, have this standing on a box like a, uh, when we put a, a foam around it, then we will 
have it on a box so so uh, so maybe we can get uh, more more thing drawn with the same engine I have four of these so uh, it depends on how much we get we will we will do but they are pretty strong so they should be able to and then we have to make something put on here and put on the stick so we can get it to turn around but uh, we will do all that in uh, in the next uh, uh, we will not be finished with the middle next time, but uh, I think we can. Sunday, I will guess I will get a lot of it cut out, and then maybe Monday, uh, Monday we will get to glue something together, and then Tuesday or something we will we will have it finished more or less. I hope. I will do it as fast as I can. So, but uh, now it's over, and I will keep on in a little while when I have uploaded this one. We have used an hour, and hope I will see you again Monday. And uh, remember to uh, subscribe to YouTube or follow along in any way and form my site uh, pixelfantasies.com so but uh, I will hope I will see you again so I will say bye bye